Hey everybody, my name is Vijay and welcome to SandTube 3D. Today I just wanted to take a quick minute to talk about something that I purchased recently, uh, which has saved me a lot of time and headache. Uh, it is the Ziltec 5 kg or 11 pound spool of filament. Now as you can see it's completely empty because I've already used it. I've actually bought two rolls of these um, and one's actually in the process of being finished. But I wanted to share some of the pros and cons with you regarding this filament compared to the standard one that most of us buy here. As you can see there's a huge difference in size. That's the very first noticeable thing. Um, why did I buy something like this? Um, because I'm currently working on a really, really big print. I'm not printing small things. I'm actually in the work of printing a six foot anime character that I used to watch when I grew up. I'm not going to ruin any surprises for you. That's for another video though. Just hint, hint. But I was just tired of running out of filament. You know, um, most of you have ran into this problem. Um, I'm printing something big and I run out of filament. I come back, my machine's sitting idle. So then I got to reload it and there's a chance that you can actually mess up your Z height. You guys know exactly what I'm talking about. I'm not going to get too much into detail about that. But I just got tired of doing it. I, had, I ruined the print because I moved my Z axis. Um, I come home from work and my printer just sitting there idling. Um, I just got frustrated. And then I went on their website because uh, as you guys know I mainly use Ziltec for most of my prints. Um, and I saw this. This is something new that they came out with Texas size. And since I live in Texas. I decided, hey, you know what, why not go and pick one up? So I did, and I used it, and I wanted to discuss some of my findings with you guys and as far as how it performed and was there a difference or was there no difference. So this is what you get out of the box, and of course, like I said, it's already done printing. But this is equivalent to five of these. So this is the main reason why I decided to go with the 5 kg spools. You can see here, I was printing with black PLA on a regular spool that we all buy ran out of filament so I had to switch it for the red and continue it on like that but this sat here for a while uh, there's a little bit of elephant flow right there so it's not very smooth I'm gonna have to fix this a little bit but as you can see I got that right there I came home on one of my printers that doesn't have a filament runout sensor nozzle was hovering right over here so I had to recover my 3d print and print it separate with a separate so now I got to do extra work to fix this right here and along with this I had this big boy right here as you can see it looks like all the colors of the rainbow I had green and then I ran out of film I believe it or not so I had a little bit of pink left a little bit of orange left a little bit of yellow left and a little bit of blue left so I had to print them all with different colors and that's you know it gets kind of annoying to be honest and the last thing that kind of really just pushed me over the top, and I know this is something small compared to this. If you notice the hand here, right as it went to the top, I mean, this thing was like just 30 minutes away from being finished and I ran out of filament. So I had to do a lot of extra work to get this to finish. And I don't know if you can see it, but there is a lot of gaps here that I have to fill it now. So it never comes out perfect. So because of that, I just had enough and I decided to go with that one and I did and this is what I printed with a spool and a half so far. So after printing all of this, um, as you can see, I haven't even taken the supports or none of it off yet because uh, I was so excited to share this with you guys. Um, the filament itself compared to the small rolls that you buy there's really nothing different guys there's nothing amazing about it compared to the small one to the 5 kg that you get or the 11 pound roll that you get um, the only thing I was worried about was what if it wasn't rolled right or wrapped right and there was a snag but there wasn't both rolls are printing perfectly it's rolling right off my homemade filament holder which I'll show you which was one of the problems that I ran into uh, but the quality of the prints are exactly the same um, I didn't have any issues the only thing is for all of you guys out there that are worried you're gonna run out of filament when you're printing it because you're not home this is just a peace of mind that's all it is um, the only problem is the only only problem I actually ran into was 
how do you get the sucker to roll? There's no holder for it that's that big. So I had to do something creative and I made a whole, uh, makeshift DIY spool holder. But after I did all of that, I found out that Ziltek actually sells a spool holder for the 5kg on their site. But the difference is mine holds two 5kg filaments or 11 pound filaments while theirs only holds one, I believe. So let me show you what I did to get it going. All right, guys, as you can see, there's still one spool here left. Uh, it's about 25% of the filament that um, I have left to go. But I basically just took an old container that you would store stuff in, took a PVC pipe, cut it to the right side, stuck it here, and stuck the other one over there. Um, and I also had to do something uh, kind of creative. So I got the CR-10S, which was being fed from here to here. But the CR-10, I actually flipped it. As you can see, it's backwards. It just got done printing a a piece right now you can see that it's backwards so I could get this filament to go to there so I only had to have one spool for both rolls which made it a little bit easier the only tricky part was I had to control everything upside down my final thoughts on this thing is is that I would buy it again um, my, I get the same quality of prints the only thing is peace of mind and I might keep repeating that but I don't have to worry about filament when I leave I mean it just keeps printing on its own I never have to worry about it. Alright guys, this brings us to the end of our video. Um, useful information, but nothing new that you guys didn't know about. I just wanted to let you know what the 5 kg 11 pound is compared to the regular spool that you get. If you have comments, concerns, guys, leave it down below in the comment section. I'll get back to every single one of you guys like I always do. I'll put all the links in the description for you. If you're new to the channel, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button. So, with that said, guys, until next print. I will see you later. My name is Vijay and thank you for watching.